Hi everyone, Joshua here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Luma key fade transition. But of course, before we go in with the video, make sure to like and sub. Maybe comment down below any tutorials that you want me to do. And let's get right into the tutorial. First of all, launch up VSDC and import the clips that you want to do the effect for. And arrange the clips so that it looks kind of like this. Now this doesn't need to be exactly copied because it just depends on how you want the transition to form. Now that you know the layout to start with, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the duration of the clip smaller so that it's just a quick 30 second video. You guys need to make sure that there is a little gap from each clip so that there is a space for the effect and that it doesn't go crazy when doing the transition. Now let's add the first transition to the first clip which is the fade out version. Put your cursor on the start of the gap like this and make sure to not click anywhere else to not mess the timing up. Double click the first clip and again do not move the cursor of the timeline so that the transition is going along with the placement and timing. Now for the effect, go to video effects and then transparency and choose background remover. Now if you have used VSDC for a quite while now, you, you would know where I'm trying to get with this. Okay, so now you just choose a color. Now the transition depends on which color from the video clip is chosen. For the parameters, the only thing that matters is the first setting one. The other two doesn't really matter for this transition, I think. So we're just gonna leave it be and make sure that the parameter change in the first option thing is linear or like the symbol is slanted. Now if you want the kind of disappearing effect, put 0 to 255. That way the effect comes in and then just does full power. And once you have done that, the effect is basically done. And like I said, the transition will depend on which color you choose on that clip. And the actual color appearance of the clip. Let's go ahead and do a fade in version of it now. Now again, we need to put our timeline cursor to the gap. But now it's the beginning of the video instead of the end. And again, just double click the clip and make sure to not move the timeline of the cursor. So now let's once again add the background remover effect. And again, just adjust it to where the timeline cursor is. Now the parameters is, you know, also easy for this. But instead of 0 to 255, you reverse it, making it 255 to 0. And once again, just choose a color that you think would suit best which also makes the transition form let's do a quick preview I'm now gonna add transition to the other clips and now that you know how this works I'll be speeding this part up and like I said guys the layout of the clips depends on how you want the transition goes so it's up to you like I said and that's basically how you do the effect I'm gonna be showing the results up on screen and you guys can enjoy it watching it Watch it if you want. Now this video was actually requested by a certain someone and her name is Zaya Diaries. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. She has requested this Luma Key Fade transition. I want to say a huge thanks to her or to you if you're watching this video right now. Thank you for the video idea and I hope that we get more of those soon from other people as well. That's gonna be it for this tutorial guys, make sure to like and sub, and comment down below any tutorials that you think that I should do, and maybe give me some thoughts about the video, and if you can, maybe share this to your friends.